absolutely beautiful here. I've never done this trail before. Angelo's Crest, uh, Buckhorn Flats Trail, I believe. I tried to find a waterfall, I couldn't find it. I've, I've gotta head back here in just a little bit. I'm capturing some awesome, awesome photos. And what's really cool is I'm doing it all by myself. I've got a Canon M50 uh, that has the Wi-Fi enable function. So I downloaded the app, the Canon app, and I've been able to remotely take my photos. Super, super fun to kind of get out of the city and just kind of reflect on everything that uh, has been going on for the past week. Um, I don't know if I told you, but uh, I was at Vid Summit all last week with so many amazing creators and uh, I, I just learned so, so much and I formed some connections that I think I'm gonna have for a long time. It was just so valuable to me and I'm, I'm super pumped, I'm excited. I'm, you know, I'm ready to get out there and just as Gary Vanderchuk says, crush it. But anyway, this is sort of my turnaround point. I've got to make my way back up the mountain. It's about 5.30 right now, and I think sunset is at 6.15. So let's get on up the mountain. So before I make my way back up top, I kind of want to tell you why I came out here today. Peter McKinnon just released his 2018 presets and I really wanted to come out, get away from the city, have some quiet time and uh, shoot some photos and see how these presets turn out. Things the other vloggers don't tell you about is how tired your arm gets holding these things. Doing it while you're hiking out of breath and going uphill, that's another challenge as well. Another big takeaway that I took away from Vid Summit was uh, a takeaway that I took away. Another big takeaway from Vid Summit that really resonated with me was to find your truth, be you, and uh, also find your voice. And it takes a long time. I think the summit really, really helped me kind of set goals to hone in on that and really improve what I'm doing and, and uh, focus on my goals and aspirations. Yeah. Getting kind of deep here, aren't we? You know, I'm speaking my truth. Don't judge me. Oh, another thing is energy. I have really, really big energy. Someone said to me like, you know how the camera adds 10 pounds? Well, the camera takes away about 10% of your energy. And I apologize if my energy is a little low today, but I don't know how much energy I can have after expelling so much on this mountain. But anyway, you're not judging me, right? Right? We're doing this. This is crazy. A ton of bats in the air right now. Check this out. These are all bats. Isn't that crazy? I don't think I've ever seen that many bats. Oh, and in case you're wondering, Spencer, why did you start the vlog at the bottom of the mountain? Instead of starting it from the top, you wouldn't be so out of breath. Fully agreed. But on my way down, I was snagging all those photos I was telling you about to use Peter's presets on. Kind of had to divide the hike up into, on the way down, take some photos, and on the way up, try and vlog. Anyway, nothing I can do about it now. Can we just take a moment here to appreciate what's behind me? Absolutely stunning. Exactly what I needed today. And that's something I think that a lot of people don't take the time to do. It's sort of, you know, after you go through something or you go to a, an event like Vid Summit like I did, you kind of just immediately jump into the hustle and jump into the grind. And I don't know. I feel like I need to sort of step back, reflect on everything that happened, and uh, sort of formulate a plan, you know, moving forward with everything that I learned. Anyway, that's that's what I'm doing. Reflecting. I love overcast days. And if you're a filmmaker like I am, you know those are the best days to shoot because there's no harsh shadows on the face. So if you weren't aware of that, there's a little tip for you. Any chance I get, which isn't much in LA, to go out and shoot when it's overcast, man, I'm telling you, I'm gonna be out there. I just passed a couple and their dog walking downhill. So I think I might be in pretty good shape. I'm not the last one on this mountain, which sort of uh, inspires some confidence. Earlier, before I even thought about using the uh, Canon app as a remote, 
I wanted to get up there to that point that you can kind of see. So if I still got some juice left, I've got to pass it on my way up to my car. I'm gonna try and get a really dope shot sitting on top of that peak up there. All right, wish me luck. Don't die, camera, don't die. <laughs>